We're broadcasting live from New Sin Stadium in Nashville, home of the Lycans, and the world capital of country music. Oh, I just love country music, Grim. Always some sweet song about a man's family or his dog. Or how he had sex with all of them. Where's my smokes? This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the MFL. The team storm the field. The Carcass City Creeps take on the Nashville Lycans. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Welcome to another game day here on the MFL Network. Grim Blitzrow along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan. How you doing? Great city, isn't it, Bricks? Fantastic city. My motel even has free color TV. Oh, that's and nice. an ice machine that works. Wow. That was police tape blocking the bathroom because of the photographers in there, but other than that, no complaints. They, they give you free jelly at breakfast, too. Sounds like a real winner. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Eight. And that's an incomplete pass. Looks like the defense got away with that one there. Uh, I didn't want to grab the receiver like that. He could get hurt. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Third down and long. Hey. Oh, that was a great throw and a great catch. Yeah, but oh, with the brain scrambler. And coach isn't liking that call. Oh, oh his head just exploded. Gladness, gladness. Oh, Third and two. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Pass finds its target. A pickup of six yards on the play. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one, hot two, hot three. A pickup of about three on that play. And that'll bring up third and one. Hot one, hot two. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. Now this one's going to be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. I saw him trying one on before the game. He looked okay, I think. Not my type, though. A little too... It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a... Oh, what a punishing hit that was! And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. <laughs> Second down and a lot. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score.
And that'll bring up third and one. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. And another interception. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. And like Brick, now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. Second down in a very lot. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Second down and long. Pow! With the brain scrambler! Third down and eight. Oh man, he really wants it! that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. A nice run there for eight yards. Second down and two. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! <laughs> well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Two, three. That's a four-yard game. Second down and six. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection.
Third down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he snags the punt. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Third down and nine. Does he pound? And how about a little dirt sandwich? <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot. And they're picking up chunks of yards now. Nice reception for 10 yards. And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. Oh, that was a snooze fest. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And it's first and ten. Hey. At this rate, the QB is gonna have more interception. Oh, killer hit! Literally. I love how they explode into a shower of blood and guts. Yeah, the pieces of him are flying into the cheap seats. First and four. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, and the ball falls to the ground. That's incomplete. He needs to throw it when a receiver can catch it. What's he doing? And uh, groundbreaking analysis as always there, Bricks. Well, uh, thank you. I do my part. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy and he gets three points for it. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. <laughs> this guy's a brick shithouse. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. And the defense is on his heels. He's at the man. He's running like a bull on steroids. That'll be a first down. It looks like we've got a penalty here. Yeah. 
The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Do us something we don't know, genius. First down to five. Second down and seven. Defense holds him to a four yard pickup there. Third down and three. to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. <laughs> There's no reason to go for it here, but they do anyway. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. He zips that one in there for a touchdown. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. And the easiest play in the league, and he chokes. Yeah, he's a choker. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the NFL. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. The defense called a one speed dirty trick. Man, look at him go. He can go all the way. You know, the league used to flag this for excessive celebration. You know, refs really don't want to get too close to the rabid roided out mobsters. And don't even get me started on the werewolves. <laughs> Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Hey. You gotta be kidding me! My sister could have made that kick! Isn't your sister in a wheelchair? I know, right? When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. <laughs> Whose eyes the QB is. Ouch! That's gotta hurt. Man, those mutant traps will kill you faster than one of Brick's farts. <laughs> and it's 
first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder first down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. And that's another pick. Oh, nice hit. You can put a pitchfork in this guy because he's done. And now the ground screw is going to use a pitchfork to toss him onto the mutant meat wagon. Hey, hey Graham, wouldn't it make more sense to use a spatula? Yeah, good point. Hold everything. The defense erases the previous play by transporting the offense back in time. I heard that time warp dirty trick uses advanced alien black hole technology. Yeah, your entire life is one big black hole. is running low on line bashers. They have only two left. They need to play smart from here on out. That's defense, Grim. You're asking too much of them. And it's first and ten. Hey. And he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Well, that's a strange penalty call right there. I'm starting to notice that this red light's talking, and it don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. First down and long, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down in a mile. Hot one, hot two, hot three. one's gonna hurt he may not be able to comprehend math after that hit what's math first time out under two minutes the chess game has begun it's like chess only you can kill people second down and ain't gonna happen partner hot one hot two three. he had it for a second there Third down in forever. Hot one. Hot. Oh, the receiver has to make that catch. Now he put the team in a hole. I hope some lucky fan gets to catch the ball. This is going to be a great kick. With how hard he's going to have to kick it, they'd probably die, Bricks. Pass me the but straight through the uprights. <laughs> crowd isn't impressed with that showing but their team has a chance to respond oh look at this guy break ten and he's off to the races look at that little mutant run and he just put that guy out of his misery and says who's next no doubt about it that guy is dead he says i'm taking you with me Turner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing in the hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so good. Oh, nice hit. <laughs> Second down and more than under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Ah, another interception. 
Jeez, you give this guy a bigger paint. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite thing because he's the one who just got wiped out. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hey. You can't keep a good meal. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, look. They stopped the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Ah, that's okay, Grim. They can have nine. That's uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Normally that would be a first down, but he had a whole lot of ground to make up. And that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh boy, where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, we're gonna go to a strip tease show, where are we going? Just sell down, just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. You want to do some Benedict's time? When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. in his path. Not much there, maybe a yard. The ref calls a penalty. You know, the NFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it. And it's first and ten. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. But that means you can wrap up the other half. And he pumped in. It's pretty hard to hold on to a ball when your brain, heart, and central nervous system stop functioning. So I can't really blame this guy for the fumble. <laughs> First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Second down and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. there 
Crap picks up the first down. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Huh. Sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? The quarterback is heading up and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the... He broke free and has open field in front of him. The 10. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First down and seven. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! <laughs> and they line up for the extra point. Misses that extra point. Oh, well, look at clown shoes down there. Is he wearing actual clown shoes? I think so. Probably why he missed. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And with another pick, the QB says, Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Second down in a lot. Man, what a hit that was. The defense has only one line basher left, and they need to keep him alive to avoid forfeiting. Third down and eight. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be caught straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. And he was steering a pick six but dropped the interception. That's why he's on defense, schmuck. 
Third down and ten. And I've had it. I, oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. Third down and a pussy. Defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. Bricks his bowels. He is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. And he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. Hey. You know, a lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and the offense is down to their last running back. No risk for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Point with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he'd probably have an interception though. Oh, he just got pulverized by a mutant trap. The defense lost their final line basher. Lucky for them, their offense is out there on the field now, where they forfeit. Yeah, they got luck just like Big Ren. I was playing candy crops the other day, and I got a cavity with herpes. Is this deja vu? This is like our Brazilian season, dumbass. Actually, I think he's talking about the time warp dirty trick that the defense just played. Still a dumbass, though. And that'll be second down and four. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. And this guy couldn't hit the side of a fallout shelter. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. <laughs> First and ten. Hot, 
Hot one, hot two, hot. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division. And Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. How have they not killed him yet? He's wearing a new mink coat, for God's sake. He's seven layers of smarmy, Grim. And, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> First down and forever. Reminds me of my breakfast cereal, the old nut crunch. <laughs> the offense is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. First down and one. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Defenders like a greased turkey. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest, I don't see a chance in hell here. It might be time to change the channel. I think Heidi's playing on Superstation WKRP. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Ah, uh, Sam and Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a compliment. <laughs> have learned a lot about sharing when he oh that was a big hit hey bricks i bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career ah uh, let's see about a quarter after three grim but my watch is a bit slow the offense lost their final quarterback 
Looking for them, they're on defense now or the game would be over. Uh, so all the other team has to do is punt the force a forfeit? That would be correct, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Oh, great throw, great catch, and then put six points on the board. The defense can do anything to stop a thrown out good, man. You mean aside from bribing the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? Yeah, my Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> hey. You gotta be kidding me. My sister could have made that kick. Isn't your sister in a week? With no players left on their roster, Nashville Vikings lose by forfeit. Oh, it's all fun and games until someone loses an eye. And an arm and head, tail. Man, there's a lot of body parts on a field. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't gonna make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were gonna kill them if the opposition did. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Balin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microheart Corporation. They get it right every up.